Okay, today we're gonna to talk about the nervous system. We're gonna look at the cells of the nervous system and discuss their structure and function. And then we'll go into a little bit of how neurons attach to other neurons, all right? So let's begin first with the overview of the nervous system where the nervous system has two main divisions. It has a central nervous system, CNS, and a peripheral nervous system, PNS. The CNS is made up of the brain and the spinal cord, and the PNS is made up of your cranial nerves, spinal nerves, and collection of cells called ganglia. Okay. So we're gonna first look at the brain and spinal cord. Well, actually we're gonna look at the cells of the nervous system. So the cells of the nervous system are either, so the cells are either neurons or glial cells. Okay. We're gonna first talk about neurons and we're gonna look at first at the structure of a general neuron. So a generalized neuron has three main parts to it. So structure of a neuron. Okay. You can begin with an area called the soma, the axon, the axon terminals, and dendrites. Okay. So th this is the soma, what we call the cell body. That's where you find the cell nucleus inside here. And then we have these antenna-like things called dendrites. These are the receptive areas of the neuron. And then we have this long process called the axon. Okay. Now where the soma tapers to meet the axon, this area is called the axon hillock. Okay. And then at the end of the axon, it branches into these things called axon terminals. Okay. And at the end of the axon terminals, you have these ends, these knobs, that we call your synaptic knobs. Okay. Now most neurons are covered by a fatty membrane called myelin that covers the neurons like this, covers the axons in particular, like so. Okay. That's called myelin. And the myelin is not continuously separated by gaps that we call nodes of Ranvier. Nodes of Ranvier. Okay? So that's, so that's a typical neuron, well, again, with the dendrites, the soma, the axon, axon terminals. And to add some more to this, to this already crazy picture, we have the axon terminals have in them these vesicles. I we call your synaptic vesicles, okay? And in the vesicles, that's where you have the chemicals that we call neurotransmitters, NTs. All right, so that's the typical neuron. Now we're gonna look at the different structural types of neurons that we have. There are three structural classes of neurons in the, the nervous system. Okay. So the first structural type, so st structural classes of neurons, structure classes of neurons. The first one we're going to look at is what we call your unipolar neuron. It has one soma, that comes down and branches out of like this. It's like a T branch, like so. This entire part right here is called the axon of this neuron. This is the soma. And this part, if, if the message is going this way into the brain, then this part here is called the dendrite. And on the axon, you can divide it up into the peripheral process. 
and the central process of the axon. Okay. This type of structural neuron, again, what we call a unipolar neuron, is used for general sensations into the nervous system. Things like touch, pain, pressure, temperature that comes from the skin will come in, through, come in on these neurons, your typical unipolar neurons. So, so again, let me put here pain, temperature, pressure. Okay, that's one type. Let's go on to another type of neuron, another, another structural class of neuron. Now feel free to pause as you go to make sure you get it before I move along. You know, since you, you have it on, on video, I'm going fast because I know you have a chance to stop it. Let's go next to your bipolar neuron. The bipolar neuron has a, again, one soma, and you have from one side you have a axon and a dendrite. So if messages are going this way, again, here's a soma. This part of here is now the axon, and over here is your dendrite. So these bipolar neurons, meaning two things come from the soma, that's what's called a bipolar neuron. These neurons are used for special senses. So they're sensory and they deal with things like vision, smell, I think even hearing, we'll use these as well. So these are your typical first neurons in the visual, olfactory and auditory pathways your bipolar neurons. Okay, and the last structural type of neuron that we have is the one that I drew for you earlier, the, the typical multipolar neuron where you have again one soma, an axon with axon terminals there, and then you have, again, dendrites. Okay. We call these your multipolar neurons. And these neurons are typically used for motor activities, meaning their job is to control your muscles. They're also used as your circuit neurons. These are neurons that stay within the nervous system and form circuits for you. Circuits that may create your personality, your memory, your judgment. Those are all formed by your multipolar neurons. All right, so that, that's it for your three structural types of neurons. Okay, let's pause and then we'll come with we'll do some more shortly.